In question 10, we're asked to find the gradient of the line with the equation 3y minus 2x equals 6. Now, in order to find the gradient of a line, we need to get that line into the form of y equals mx plus c being the constant. The reason is, once we get it into this form, then the m value is, in fact, the gradient. <coughs> so with that in mind, we'll have 3y minus 2x equals 6. 3y, therefore, equals 2x plus 6. y will equal, once we divide throughout by 3, will be equal to 2 over 3x plus 6 divided by 3 is 2. That means that the gradient is the coefficient of x, which is 2 over 3. Now, in part b, we're asked to find an equation of the line with gradient minus 3 that passes through that point, uh, 2, 5. So, again, keep the original equation of a straight line in mind, y equals mx plus c. Now, we know the gradient is minus 3. So we've already got one part of this, the m. So we know it's going to be y equals minus 3x plus c. Well, we need to work out what that c is. And that's the y-intercepts, essentially. Now, we know that a point that it goes through, and keeping in mind that's in the form x, y, so what that means is we can substitute that into this equation. So y is... Oh, sorry didn't have it on pen. y is 5. Um, that equals minus 3. x is 2 plus c. That means that c will be equal to 5 plus, because there's a minus that goes over to the other side, plus 3 times 2, which is 6. So that means that c equals 11. So that means that the equation of the line becomes y equals minus 3x plus 11.